Okay, friends, it's that time. Should we call Pat Mahomes? Should we call Tra Travis Kelsey? Should we do that? Because we're going to Kansas City. Um, this is the Kansas City. <laughs> Look, my producer, Carrie, is cracking up. Um, this is Kansas City State Company. Do you want eight? Do you want 16? But I'm going to tell you what. You're going to go to the top. These are the top sirloin steaks, and they're five ounces. Top sirloin steak. My buddy will talk about why these are great. Sale price, $59 for the eight, or 16 um, is $94.98. The easy pay is $15. And if you want to stock up and save, you can do that. If you get the 16, you're going to save $24.98. And that's the 16 count option. That also, the easy pay for the 16 is $23.75. Listen, they've been bringing steaks to family restaurants since 1932, and I get to talk to my buddy. We usually only talk on Saturdays. It's Ralphie Boy. It's my boy, <laughs> Ralph Pallarino. And I'm so happy to have him. He's a chef. He's a cook. He's my friend. And look, he's, he's one of the most talented and interesting people here at the Q. And I always learn from him and I always have so much fun. Ralphie, what's up, buddy? What's up? Listen, I, I was, whenever you mentioned Pat Mahomes, I laughed too because he likes ketchup on his steak. And that's all I can think about when you say Pat Mahomes. So there we go. <laughs> all right, well, wait, listen, wait, what are we talking about here? I, we're, we're talking about top sirloin. And look, I know it's a, look, I'm learning because I've been with you. It's a cross between filet mignon and a New York strip steak. Did I get that right? Nailed it. Yeah, exactly. Because listen, not a sirloin. So a lot of people will say, well, you know, growing up, we've had sirloin, very inexpensive cut of meat. My memories of it wasn't so great. But you know what? Here's what a top sirloin is. It actually is a totally different cut. It sits on top of the sirloin. And like you said, it has the tenderness. It's actually the second most tender cut of beef on the cattle. But it also has that robustness of a New York strip steak without all that fat. So wow. when we look at it, it almost, if we look on my board, it kind of looks like a filet mignon, It right? does. We're used to selling the two ounces, but yeah, here we go. It kind of looks like that. All right. So this is a five ounce, beautiful. Oh, man. Steak. Now look at that. Come on. Look at that. Now, <laughs> I want time. you to look at I'm just, I'm just giving a little, look at that, a little touch. Bang. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> And I let these, and by the way, as you know, we let these rest for about 10 minutes, okay? And look how juicy, because when you cook a steak and then you take it out, if I was to cut right in the center of that, as soon as it came out of the oven or off the grill, mm -hmm. all the juices would go all over the place. But in this case, all those juices stayed in and are going to go right in your mouth. I mean, oh, look at that, goodness. right? And that's simple yeah. and easy. So you can get the eight or you can get the 16. Um, in the eight count, we have 200 remaining. In the 16 count, that's our more popular option. Only 135 remaining. We're here with Ralph Pellerino. Uh, and there's no auto delivery on this. So listen, it's getting ready to be grilling season. And we're here with Ralph. And he's going to talk to us about this steak and how we can prepare it and how you can live your best life with it. That's right. So like you said, everyone's getting excited, right? I mean, this week's a little cold, but last week it was warm. And as soon as it gets warm, people do a couple things. One, they eat outside, right? You'll notice yeah. this right away. And the other thing they do is they start firing up the grill and they start sharing. And I use that word sharing because, listen, we've had the top sirloins on. And if you were lucky enough to grab these, you're, they're in your freezer right now. But if you didn't, get them in the freezer, crank up that grill and put these on. Now, here's how we're going to do it, right? We're going to give you like this. You get two to a package, five ounces, great size, right? It's just a little bit bigger than that petite filet that we talk about, right? What we're going to do is we're going to take it out of this package. We're going to dry it really well, TJ, right? Why do we dry it? Because we want that sear. We want that steakhouse sear because when we bite into it, we want it nice and juicy, but we want to kind of have that little sear on top. And what you do by getting that is dry these really well. Now what do we do? We get a hot pan, right, or skillet, or grill, or your air fryer, okay? And then you're gonna hit it with a little bit of oil. Now why do I use oil on these before I cook them? Because I like a little flare up. I like a little sizzle, right? Okay. I like to be sassy, TJ, you know that, <laughs> right? Okay? <laughs> and you know, 
<laughs> people love to use all that butter, right? You ever see on like Instagram and what? Like, throwing like nubs of butter in the pan. Yeah. Fine and everything, but you want some good sear, some good flare up. Use some oil, some olive oil, avocado oil, and what and that you're going to get on top of the of the steak, not in the pan. It goes on top. Oh wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Great question. So if you're using a pan or a grill pan, okay. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put the oil in the pan before you put the steak in. You want to actually have that oil on the steak so that when it hits that surface, it almost clings to that surface. Because okay. one of the things, and I'll share with you, is when you're cooking a good steak, you don't touch it. Once you put it in, this, in the pan or on the grill, you don't touch it. It will release when it's ready, okay? So if you want medium rare, go like three or four minutes. Then you're going to crisscross it. Remember, like I showed you like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to hit all the surface of that steak. And what you're going to get is this beautiful cut. I mean, I just, listen, I told you it was it was uh, uh, tender, right? Look at yeah. that. Look at that. Just with a fork, right? Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at and that. And there's no fat, no gristle, no fat. Very lean piece of steak. And I like to call this, like, it's the everyday steak, right? Like, listen. When we talk about a New York strip or a filet mignon, those, those are expensive cuts. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, those are not attainable for a lot of people on an everyday basis. Yeah. But what's great about these sirloins is you get the same effect, right? You get the same feeling when you're eating these and taste without the price tag. And you're, you're okay with using them for other things, whether it be a sandwich or a stir fry. I mean, at the end of the day, this is your go-to protein, right? If you're not going chicken, if you're not going fish, top sirloin is where it's at when you're really, really trying to, um, you know, generous to yourself without feeling bad. I mean, look at that, right? Absolutely. It's great. And so, listen, here's the other thing I love, Ralph. So, we can freeze these so you can get that eight or you can get the 16, and I want to talk to you about freezing and how we prepare that and save okay. $24 with that stock up and save option. So, Ralphie, when we order these, how do okay. they come to us? What do they look like? And then how long do they last in the freezer? Okay, so they're going to come to you on dry ice, solid, frozen, because here's the key. You know, a lot of times people say to ourselves, well, we don't see, the, we don't see Kansas City State Company in the grocery stores. Well, because... We never sell to grocery stores because we want to control the process. And one of that processes is deep freezing, right? Okay. So that the idea, and you've heard about this like with fish on like a boat, they catch the fish and they freeze it right away, right? Yeah. So that when you defrost it, you're getting that same taste, same freshness as the day it was caught, or in this case, the day it was cut. So they arrive frozen, deep frozen. You're going to take them, put them in your freezer. When you're ready, OK, you take them out, you put them in the refrigerator. I put mine in the refrigerator for like 24 hours. But in a pinch, cold water, always cold water, never hot water, always cold water. And then you take them out of the package and you dry them well and then off you go. And they're good for 12 months in your freezer. I love that. 12 months. So that's a year. And so look, how many parties is that? Even if you got to 12, knowing that they'd last a year. I don't know that they would last a whole summer. So this is a great way to stock up and do all the things that you need to do. So in the eight count, we only have 175 remaining. In the 16, we, we have almost 100. So people are moving on this. You can save $24.98 on that 16 count. And like Ralph was saying, this is something you can pop in the freezer. You can cut it up and, and do whatever you need to do. I like the fact that you're getting five ounces, which is sizable. Because listen, you could put that with whatever you want. And Ralph, we talk about this in the morning. Like, I like steak and eggs. So oh. this could be something that's perfect for that. And listen, we always know on Saturdays, you always make me a sandwich. And so that's I'm right. wondering if I could use that for this as well. Absolutely, because we, you know, all of our steaks, or I should say most of our steaks go through what's called a pinning process, right? So we're naturally tenderizing these cuts so that when you use them for a sandwich, for example, you're not going to get that tear, right? It's mm -hmm. going to literally just kind of melt when you bite it. That's the key, right? And by yeah. the way, these are wet aged. We always, we kind of talk about this sometimes, but these are wedge aged, wet aged for 28 days. So what does that and mean, we'll, Ralph? Like what, what does wet age so, mean? 
Okay, so we've heard of dry aging, right? Mm -hmm. So this is wet aging. And dry aging, unfortunately, dry aging is when you really draw out all the moisture and you're kind of left with the yield isn't so great. But with wet aging, it sits in its own juices, okay? And what happens is the enzymes in the meat break down the meat itself. And what you get is this unbelievable juiciness and you get tenderness, but you also get a little bit of edge, right? Okay. And it's particularly important when you're talking about a top sirloin because a lot of times if you went and bought a sirloin or a top sirloin, there's not a lot of flavor. Yes, they're lean, yes, they're tender, but they, they lack that edge that you get at the steakhouse. And you always say to yourself, well, why can't I get that same steak in my house? Well, in this case, you can because we sell to all those high-end steakhouses. <laughs> but it's because it's aged, right? And if you take an aged piece of meat and a non-aged piece of meat, there's a noticeable difference. And that is the edginess, the beefiness, that kind of like that one note that you just never hit at home. Yeah. Hit it here because, again, you're being delivered to your house just like we deliver to the steakhouse. So it's really not just you're buying a steak, you're buying an experience, TJ. That's I love important. that you said that. Look at you, you're buying an experience. You're gonna make me change yeah. the item number on this. The item number is, <laughs> is M81463. Get your experience now. You can get six of those, or eight of those experiences, or 16 of those experiences, but it's Kansas City Steak Company. Do you want the eight or the 16? If you get the 16, you can save $24.98. Put them right in your freezer and be ready for the um, any uh, activity that you might have coming up, including dinner. Ralphie, it's always a pleasure, my buddy. I, I hope I see you one of these Saturdays. Uh, yeah, next month, I'm sure we have one lined up, so uh, I'll see you then. Sounds great, buddy. See you. Okay, folks.